Bye. Good morning, y'all. I am Brittany Giselle, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, it is Sunday morning, and I'm getting ready to make brunch or so. It's almost 11. So, I just got out the shower. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling good. I washed my hair. Oh, it felt so good to just stand in there and wash my hair and just get in there. You know, you know that feeling. Yeah. So, right now, I got, I got a treatment in my hair right now. Once I'm done with like brunch and all that, I'm gonna go back in and like put my products in. I'm gonna keep it curly for the next couple of days or a week or so. We'll see how I feel. But yeah, so that's what's going on. But I'm gonna make breakfast and I thought I would bring y'all along. I figured I'll, you know, bring y'all along for little bits and pieces of it. So I wanna make pancakes and I, this time of year, I freaking, well, first of all, I just love maple any time of year, but this time of year is when the maple comes out in stores and i bought a new jar of maple butter recently at aldi so i could dig into my old jar of maple butter that i had sitting in the fridge because i didn't want to touch this for a long time this one is simply nature where did i get this from i think i got this one last year from aldi as well but the new jar looks a little different so i figured to give the pancakes a little maple butter taste a little flavor i'm gonna mix some of this in the pancakes and then we're just gonna keep it simple i'm gonna make eggs i don't know if i'm gonna do scrambled or like a little omelet style probably scrambled because i think i'm gonna use my i don't even know how to pronounce it is it the alouette out Al, hold on let me get it this cheese the alouette garlic and herbs I don't know how to pronounce it, but y'all, this cheese and eggs, oh my God, it's so freaking good. This, and then I'm going to make, I think I have maple sausage. So I'm going to pop those in the air fryer. Somebody wants to say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to pop those in the air fryer, let them do their thing while I'm making the pancakes. I pulled out the griddle. That's how y'all know I was serious about cooking some make brunch griddle? today. Huh? Make griddle? It's not a mick griddle it's a griddle <laughs> so um kyron already set it up for me i gotta give it a nice little clean a little white because it's been a long time since i used it but yeah that's what we're gonna be doing for the beginning of this vlog and then we'll talk about what we'll possibly do the rest of the day so let's get started with some breakfast and i gotta make some coffee too we're gonna make some coffee today yes because we need coffee you making coffee for us would you like some coffee kyron of course Kyron wants coffee. Y'all think I should give him coffee? Yes. You better come plead your case. Because I'm still tired. Why, sh why should we allow Kyron to drink some coffee today? And you flipped me out multiple times this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you better come in front of this camera and plead your case. It's one of my cases that she kept on putting her middle finger at me. And can I say it? What? Can I say it? Say what? From the clip that I showed you yesterday. Oh, um, on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. What it was, was, was saying, the guy was saying, I forgot. It was, it who, was 50 Cent. It was 50 Cent saying, why he say fuck me for? <laughs> she kept, yeah. That's how I felt every time she put me off. Come get y'all nephew. Now you're going to find the clip so I can pop it in. Blimey. It's the old ass clip of 50 Cent talking about, well, why she say, why did he say fuck me for? <laughs> Floyd said, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? And he just had to find it. I don't know why. I just felt like sticking my middle finger up at him. I don't know. Like, I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know I why just, either. I, I just, would just look over at her and all she does is put me off for no reason. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just sitting out casually playing. I looked to my left. I look to my left or right, all I see is the middle finger being pointed at me from, <laughs> from behind her computer while she's on the table for no reason. Just having fun. Nothing serious. There's nothing appearance and style, if you will. It, it, there's no reason. What was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? There's no reason. So I'm going to put the sausage in first because they take a little longer to cook. And I'm like using these, y'all. These little air fry liner. Air fryer liners come in clutch okay i get the metallic tray all right how many pieces of sausage would you like all of them yeah three each all of them 
Augen zu haben. Would you believe me if I told you I have been sitting in the same spot and it is now 2.11. I have not moved since I sat down here to eat my brunch. And that was what, like 11.30ish maybe? So I was just, like I started editing a YouTube video as y'all saw. Um, I've just been like replying to comments and things like that. And I just realized that I had like an old, like I'm going through comments and like some of them, they kind of get lost in the sauce sometimes. So um, I just came across one. This one I replied to, but it's, this is one that she recommended a TV show and I forgot to like actually save it. So I'm glad that I came across it because now that I'm done, this is when I was watching Your Honor. She was like, oh, I love Your Honor, but you definitely have to... Um, watch this show what did she say you should you should watch mayor of kingston or kingstown i'm not sure how they pronounce that one next that's that's what just i just finished watching so i was like oh what is that about so let's ask alexa alexa what is mayor of kingstown mayor of kingstown is a crime drama show starring jeremy renner hugh dylan and toby bantefa the McCluskey family are power brokers tackling themes of systemic racism, corruption and inequality in Kingstown, Michigan, where the business of incarceration is the only thriving industry. The series has an IMDb rating of 8.2 out of 10 and is rated TVMA. Okay. Okay, Miss Dose of Kendra has put us on to our next TV show, so that's what we're going to be watching. Well, we got to see where it's at, actually, so let me look it up. Mayor, uh, I know about three upcoming TV shows and there nobody wants this. Hassan Store and Shells, Kelafos, on September 26, 2024. Girl, what you talking about? Never mind. 
Did you do that? What? I don't know what she's talking about. I didn't even say anything. I was listening. Okay, Hi, so everyone. It's on Hulu, so we'll go and check. It's on Hulu. It's on Disney Plus. Or is this showing me? They had three seasons. So I think it's on Hulu. That's what it's showing. It's on Paramount Plus, Hulu, YouTube, Fubu TV, Sling, the Roku channel, Amazon Prime, on Apple TV. So if you have a subscription with any of those, you can watch it. Okay. Where did it originally come out on? Oh, it's originally, it's a, a Paramount Plus original. Okay. So yeah, I'll definitely be watching that. I'm going to come back and, and let you know about it, Kendra, okay? <laughs> Probably start that tonight. Maybe like, you know, when I'm trying to wind down. Now that I remember the name of it. What is next? Something that I wanted to, I didn't even go back and do my hair, y'all. I told y'all I've been sitting in the, in the same spot. So, what did I want to talk to y'all about? I forgot. <laughs> I wanted to like move this a little bit. I don't know y'all can see ourselves in the background, but that's okay. So some of the stuff that I actually wanted to work on today was going through, like doing, working on some of like my actual like online business stuff because this past week or two, maybe, honestly, I have slacked a lot. And on like, I haven't even posted. I was just like, kind of like shut down, feeling very, um, I don't want to say burnt out, but more so like my perfectionist ways got in the way. And I don't know if I told you that I started listening, like reading, but I'm doing like an audiobook version. Let me look it up to give y'all the, no, actually I have, a, I have it on my um, laptop as well. So I can give you the exact title of the book. Come on, there's a net in here and it's driving me crazy. The Perfectionist Guide to Losing Control. So I started listening to that and it's helping me with realizing my different types. Uh, that camera is bothering me in the background now. And it's helping me figure out my different types. There's a lot of different types of perfectionisms, perfectionist styles, if you will. And I'm majority of them. But most of all, I connect or... I am mostly a classic perfectionist. I forgot which perfectionist style it was, but one of them is like, you come up with this idea of the way that you want things done and you want things to like, kind of like work out or play out and in your mind, if you can't get it fully finished or completed in your mind, you're not even gonna put, put it to action because in your head it's not complete. Like that's the perfectionist part of it. And it's like, it's overwhelming because honestly, it's like, I want to do these things. I want to put, put it to action, but in my head, it's not completed. Therefore I can't because it's almost like, um, how do I, how do I explain it? I get like this paralyzing kind of thing that it's just like, what if I can't complete it? Or like, what if something comes up and I can't fully go through with it? So I end up hurting myself in the long run because I just didn't do it at all. So learning to work through those things and why I want this book open up. This is so weird. I'm trying to open it up to pull up the different types of perfectionists, but okay. What if I go to books? Why won't it open? Can I open the perfections that it is formatted incorrectly or is not a format that Apple Books can open? But you opened it before. Found it. So there's the classic perfectionist. The Persian perfectionist. Procrastinator perfectionist, which I, <laughs> I was right here with. <laughs> And where is it at? A messy perfectionist. And the last one was the intense perfectionist. 
I'm more so the classic and the uh, procrastinator perfectionist. So with the classic perfection, I mean, the uh, procrastinator perfectionist, there was something in it that she had said in the book, the, the author is a woman. Um, so this is where it is. She said, the problem for these perfectionists is that starting a process taints it. Now that it's real, it can no longer be perfect. If something is perfect to them, it exists only in the past memory or future ideal. And so you understand how to harness your perfectionism. It's vexing to be a perf procrastinator perfectionist. Unlike Parsian perfectionists, you hear the internal taunt, who do you think you are? And in initially feel embarrassed to answer the question with pride. Procrastinated perfectionists have no problem answering the question with a parade of dazzling and accurate attributes. I'm smart, funny, talented, hardworking, and I'm creative. Procrastinated perfectionists aren't skimping on the self-esteem. They're painfully aware of their gifts, painfully aware that is because procrastinated perfectionists live in the space between knowing you have a gift you want to share and not feeling ready to share it. Oh, that hit home. Having a gift you want to share and not being ready to share it. Y'all, when she said that, I was like, that 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 right there yeah so i'm ready to hear more of what she has to say about procrastinator perfection is because yeah i have goosebumps like goosebumps okay so this was a good part procrastinator perfectionists feel a sense of loss around starting that other types of perfectionists don't encounter Avoiding loss is perhaps the most natural emotional reflex there is, hence why the habit of hesitation is so powerful for this type. Okay, yeah, are y'all with me? If you are, are a procrastinator perfectionist, then I know that this is starting to click for you. If it hasn't already, then I know it's clicking. When the looming loss is felt on an unconscious level, procrastinator perfectionists also mistakenly attribute the avoidance of starting to lack of starting to a lack of desire. I must not really want it, otherwise I would have done it by now. Definitely something that I have had I have had a thought of on many different levels, many different things. The more procrastinated perfectionists tell themselves that they're undisciplined, non-passionate, not, not passionate enough, lazy, so on, the more they believe it. This begins a negative cycle of false identity, one they can't ever seem to break. Procrastinated perfectionists who aren't managing the perfectionism become self-loathing and critical. All right, and then the way that this ends, like the little intro on procrastinator perfectionist as a tongue twister the way that it ends she says it's a joy to have a gifted person who is liberated and motivated in your orbit it's a joy to be that person so y'all if you are a procrastinator perfectionist if anything i just said hit home for you definitely um look up this book the perfect the perfectionist guide to losing control look it up on google Go to your library and get it. I did have the physical book, but I just wasn't opening it. And I'm just like, I'll get the audio book. Now, also something I learned that I talked about on um, my stories recently was that if you have Hulu Premium, Hulu Premium has audio books. And I did not know that up until a few weeks ago. So Hulu Premium, you can, and almost every book that I have been wanting to listen to lately is available to listen for free if you're into audiobooks if not then you, know, you can look books up through epub that's a way you know books books I and mean, if you're into books and they just become expensive you can do that also going to your library and getting books or if you just want to go ahead and buy them whatever do what you got to do but i will link an amazon one in case you're interested in purchasing it but so far so good so i'm definitely gonna be touching base with y'all to let y'all know some more touch points that kind of speak to me throughout me reading this book anyways I want to listen to some more of this book I don't know if today I'll get to it but at least you know I got a little refresher while I was talking about it with y'all so that's 
a reason that was a long winded reason as to partially why i have not been working on like my business stuff i want to set like a timer and go through one of the courses that i have been i have started going in listening to so i want to start doing that set a timer for that maybe set a timer to like actually create some reels get some actual ideas do some market research do some dmos just get stuff done so i'm gonna get up from here and move around a little bit because my ass is starting to hurt <laughs> um maybe clean okay i'll do my hair i'll do my hair then come back and i can start listening to like the courses while i do that and then come back and sit in my laptop and like finish that on our computer so that's what we're gonna be doing we do have to go to the gym at some point in time today He's ignoring me. Kai. He's ignoring me. I know he hears me. Kai. We have to go to the gym at some point today. Okay. Why? Why? Well, catch. Stop. <laughs> All right, y'all be back. <laughs> it's gym time. Yeah. You're going to ignore me? I said, yay. Yeah, Karen's not happy about it. 